Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today, today I have a free book for you. Well, technically, it's the contents of a free book, but eh, more or less the same thing. And there's just something about this book that appeals to me. I don't know what it is. It is called Computer Graphics From Scratch, and here on Game From Scratch, not sure, but something about computer graphics from scratch, I really like that. And the thing is, that title isn't quite as ironic as this one has become, because it really does teach you computer graphics from pretty much scratch. Now, this made the rounds on Hacker News yesterday. Sorry, I didn't get a video out until today, but hey, it's not going away, so no harm, no foul. This started life as, uh, basically, this fellow was teaching computer graphics, and then he took all of his course notes and the materials he put together and basically bundled them together into a free ebook. Then No Starch Press picked it up and said, hey, let's turn this into a real book, and then they've done that over the last two years of editing and refinement and so on. It is now a real polished book that is going to be coming out very, very soon. But No Starch Press also gave him permission to publish this on his website for free. So here we go. This is that book. So if you want to head over, check it out. It is available. I will have links to this down below. The funny thing is, a lot of times finding good resources on learning uh, game development math or just graphics math in general are a little bit challenging at times and right now we're getting flooded with opportunities i'm going to show you a couple humble bundles that are running right now if you want to learn a bit about math stay tuned to the end there's a couple of things i want to point out to you but anyways computer graphics from scratch is kind of unique in that it demystifies the algorithms used in modern graphics software with basic programming and high school math good news is i am basic programmer, and I have high school level math somewhere in the back of my head, so this book should appeal to me. But what this one is doing is covering uh, graphics at a very, very low level. Like I said earlier on, this actually covers, I think I said earlier on, this covers creating your own rasterizer. Now, if you were a child of the 90s like myself, this is how we did game development back then. There weren't these shiny, newfangled game engine. You actually started by creating something that drew triangles on screens using pixels, and this pretty much covers that, but it also gets into the topic of ray tracing. So if you want to see, here's how you create lines, fill the triangles, create shaded polygons, and so on. This is like a trip back in time. But the cool thing here is there's also a, a section on ray tracing, which is very relevant to today's graphics. And if you go in, you're going to see kind of what you're dealing with. We'll, we'll go to the first section of pseudocode, and I'm pretty sure that you'll be able to understand it. I certainly could. So let's see. For each pixel on the canvas, paint it the right color. I can definitely grok that. That is an understandable code segment to me. So a lot of this is basically described as, uh, you know, pseudocode, simple code kind of to describe the algorithm so it's language agnostic. And then you got graphics to kind of break down how things go. But you'll also see here, uh, we've got uh, the algorithms broken down in kind of a plain English way of understanding it. So you, you do have scary ass math in here for sure, 100%. And you're never going to fully get away with that with dealing with graphics because I hate to tell you, computer graphics and math, they're kind of the same thing. It's just, it's the reality of the situation. But you can see here, we got details on how arrays are cast, the, the equation to cast array, what, how to have interaction or um, how intersections work, and so on. Again, everything is in pseudo -e code. So you can see how you could easily, uh, you know, convert that to C sharp or to Python or to basic or to uh, C++ or whatever your language of choice. It's a pretty uh, accurate uh, pseudocode approach. So you're not getting how to create computer graphics using uh, DirectX 12, using C++ kind of scenario here. This is more taking you through the concepts of what's involved. Again, if you do want to pick this one up, it is available on No Starch Press's website. Use the code MAKE3DMAGIC before February 12th, and you'll save 35% off. So that's really cool of him. If you do like the book, definitely support the author. I, I like, this is something that No Starch Press does pretty commonly. They make a lot of their books available in ebook format. This is kind of impressed because this is even before it is shipped. You even have this appendices here on linear algebra. So if you get nothing else out of this, if you're just starting out and you want to kind of just get the basics of math, this is a pretty good primer on, on linear algebra. It's, it's kind of one of those things that's in here. But if you ever wanted to look at the way computer graphics actually work, like, you know, so now we've got behind the scenes the, the the game engine or the framework you're using takes care of all of this for you. As a practical application, a lot of this stuff, especially your rasterization, you're not going to need to use it. But if you ever wanted to really kind of peek behind the curtain and understand how these things work, hey, here you got it. You got step-by-step -step process. Also, you got a bit of a primer on how ray tracing works. And ray tracing is definitely incredibly relevant in the world that we are living in today. So you do want to pick up the, the book. It is available on No Starch Press right now. Uh, also, and this one I think is kind of funny, it is available on uh, Amazon as well. And you will see it is currently number one in new releases, which is awesome until you realize the category is in the Adobe Illustrator Guides category. Huh. 
Okay. Hey, number one, don't take that away from anybody. But I think there might be something going wrong here. Uh, also, you'll notice here that you can only get this as an ebook. It's uh, actually, but it looks like you can get it now. Whereas in this case, to get the print book here, you are looking at uh, April 2021. Oh, is this April as well? No, April 2021 as well. Okay, so they're both delayed. Uh, but here, uh, there's no paper book listed as of yet. I'm wondering if that will change over time. But definitely a nice resource to add. And again, you can go here to this site, which will be linked in the linked article down below. Uh, and you can learn about the basics of uh, computer graphics. So that's that's kind of cool. Uh, and then, by the way, as I said earlier on, if you want to pick up and learn more about the math behind game development, there is a strange number of Humble Bundles going on right now. Like, this is actually kind of getting freakishly weird uh, because resources on game math are a little tricky to come by a lot of times. But here we've got three. <laughs> so right now, uh, Math for Programmers is still running. Got 11 more days on that one. And the one that really stands out for me, no, 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 no. No, maybe. No, 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 no. This book, whoop. Didn't find it yet. This one right here, Math for Programmers, the one that is actually written after, that I kind of gave it, uh, I've read about seven or eight chapters of it. It is an exceptional book in that it teaches you math via code. So if you are a coder who struggles with formula and like the raw oof of math, this is an excellent book. Unfortunately, it is in the top tier, but I will link this humble details down below. There is also this humble bundle. This one is a little bit more straightforward. This is the Programming Fundamentals by Mercury. Mercury is a mixed bag, uh, but what you've got here is at the $1 tier, you have Mathematics for Computer Graphics and Game Programming, a self-teaching introduction for a buck. It's hard to ignore that. Plus, if you kind of jump in a little bit, more, if you want more of a technical hands-on, you know, how to apply this stuff to actual APIs, you've got an OpenGL book here and a DirectX 12 book in this bundle as well. And then finally, to round it out, we have this Learn to Create Games in Unity course uh, from Game Dev TV. I'm actually going to be doing a follow-up video on this one. I've been reviewing it. Spoiler alert, it's pretty awesome. Uh, but at their entry-level tier, there is this one course. Once again, at the dollar level, Math for Video Games, it is excellent. It, it shocked me how good it actually was. It broke things down uh, into like five to 10 minute chunks for algorithms. Stay tuned for that uh, review coming up from Game Dev TV's tutorials. Uh, but this one, from my experiences, is a no-brainer recommendation for the $1 tier. So if you are struggling with learning Game Dev math, it's actually kind of amazing just how many resources we have out there at this exact point in time. Humble is really weird with how they do that. But this one, this one is not linked to Humble at all. This is the author himself. Again, it started life as a free book. It got turned into a real book. And in that process, after all the editing and the, all the, you know, uh, making something look professional as opposed to a free ebook, uh, the authors the, or the publishers, No Starch, made it available for free or allowed him to make it available for free on his website, as you can see right here. So if you want to jump in and learn about computer graphics, kind of like the way that us old farts used to make things, or you want to get a little bit more of an understanding of how ray tracing works, this is a good choice. It's kind of a unique book in that regard. And again, if you're looking for other resources, there's a ton of links below because there's just a ton being offered right now. All right, so that's it. Let me know what you think. Also, did you pick up any of those humbles? Did you get through the books? What did you think of them? Or did you do the Game Dev TV course? And what did you think of it? Let other people know your reviews down below. All right, that's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.